Yo guys, what's up, Bob here. So today I'm gonna talk to you about Microsoft planning to buy Skype. Well, they actually already bought it. But okay, so I can see this as it does have its good positives and its bad positives. Well, not bad positives. What I'm talking about, anyways. Well, if they buy it, they could probably integrate it into Xbox Live, which would be pretty badass because then you can talk to on Skype with Xbox Live. They kind of did that already with the Xbox Connect and the video chat and all that, but more people use Skype, so it might they might do it, which would be pretty cool. But another thing is the multi-platform support it already has. The question is, will Microsoft can continue to develop for Mac, Linux for it, or no? I mean, since they didn't develop MSN, Live, Messenger, whatever it's called now, for Linux or Mac, with something they made it for Linux. I haven't used that in years because, well, it's just a fail in Ma Messenger. I mean, not that many people even use Instant Messages anymore. Facebook, Facebook pretty much killed all of messaging and text messaging. Like I haven't even logged on my AIM account in years or MSN account. But yeah, like. There, it's a possibility that Linux might not have Skype anymore. I was reading through this site on some of the comments. It was one of the comments I was reading. Well, these guys are having a fight about Xbox Live having it, which is pretty cool. I was thinking of, but everyone was like, "Goodbye, Linux client." So it's a possibility that we might lose the Linux client actually. And that would be pretty bad. I mean, you could still probably run it through Wine and all that, but the fact that, that it was actually a native client for Linux was a good thing. Because, you know, Wine sometimes will crash. And it's. I mean, don't get me wrong, Wine is awesome. For what it. Since it's open source and completely free, it's incredible for what the things you can do with it. Like, I play WoW and. Uh, Wine, perfectly fine. StarCraft 2, Photoshop, Dreamweaver, perfectly fine on Wine. So, there's a possibility that we might have to use Wine for Skype now. I mean, and the Linux client for Skype versus the Windows client. Uh, oh, I typed Linux client. Oops. Windows client. It looks way different than it does our Skype. That's for the Windows client. So if Microsoft did take it over and if they somehow design the Skype Linux client to look like it does for Windows, that'll be pretty awesome because you can tell by the look of it on Linux. It looks really outdated and old, right? So, yeah, that's my thoughts on actually Microsoft buying Skype for 8.5 billion. Peace. Subscribe, comment, follow me on um, on Twitter too. Peace.